Andrew Eddinghausen takes out the Sharks on the pace right throughout 1999. Tremendously consistent, tremendously well-balanced outfit, strong in all areas, and real workers. Peachy, the danger man at the back. Eddinghausen, the captain, what a career he has had for this Sharks side. Paul Mellor to join him in the centres. Mitch Healy to, to do all the kicking tonight, and the forwards who will go non-stop for 80 minutes, this Sharks pack. Dean Treister will have a terrific clash in the hooking position with Robert Mears. He's running from dummy half, suited for these conditions as well. Now it's for John Simon and the Warriors to continue on the good work, even in defeat last week against the Broncos. Wearing red shorts tonight, unfortunately for a home side because of the clash with the Cronulla outfits. They have to, rather amazingly, come up with a different strip. Odin Ryan at the back. In recent weeks, Nigel Wagner has been a threat to all in the three quarters. Odell Manuel, a great game against Hancock last week. Simon, outstanding at 5'8". Looking for a lot more running from Stacey Jones tonight. And no doubt about it, huge pack of forwards with Joe Wagner and Hermanson to do the early damage against the Sharks. Pretty tough one for Sean Hampstead after the massive media reaction in New Zealand all week after the Broncos clash. Healy down deep, Odin Ryan. They hand it away for Hermanson. Full steam ahead. Well, he's automatically won the popularity stakes in the opening seconds. As this penalty gets them away from the 30 through Simon, off the side of his boot, he'll only improve it by a metre or so. Yeah, sometimes at the kickoff, you're that enthusiastic, you want to get up hard on defence. Hampstead warning the Cronulla players, the Sharkies, to stay back on side. The penalty awarded, and a good opportunity for Auckland to say, fine, good yards right up the middle of the ruck. Joe Wagner. Simon. Little bit of a jinx step, tried to get in behind the line. Jones. So much better when he takes it to the line. We're going to look for a lot more of that tonight. Well, you said it already. Stacey Jones, when he decides to run, take on the line. He's that quick, that nippy, great upper body strength. He will be a real weapon if he decides to run tonight. Clever from Simon. You're going to see some variations. Not only the ball in the air tonight, he knows that in these conditions, even more difficult to put it on the deck. Well, it is. It's one of the tougher ones to come up and, uh, you know, just collect. You've got players coming at you from all sorts of angles. Ball is slippery. You've just got to get yourself, your body down low, and uh, just make sure you come up with the ball. Tutupu with a strong tackle. Powerhouse start from the Warriors. Jones getting two out, looking for runners. Inside, Joe Wagner. Good tackle down low. Treister put him down. Jones wrapped up, still looking to unload. Mellor to make sure that he stays down and to slow the play down just a little. Last tackle now. Simon's under pressure, creates some space. Odin Ryan. Simon's taken out incredibly without the ball by Sean Ryan. Well, it's a simple two points on offer, but Dean Treister, he came up with a save tackle sure. on Big Joe Wagner that time. Plenty of pressure on the kicking options. This is an easy one to start the night, though. And some points for a pretty solid early performance from the Warriors. 2-0. <laughs> Nick Graham. Down below was Tony Tutupu. Quick to make the call, Hampstead. Now, decision time for Eddinghausen, whether they go looking for two or not. Well, with Matt Rogers still out with injury, opting to just take their large share of position now, camped inside the Warriors 20. Back-to-back -back penalties. Inside. They go searching for the try.
Joe Bagano went looking for the big Charlotte charge. Healy. Healy takes it to the line. Just grabbed by Joe Bagano. Grabbed him by the collar. Wide they go again. Chance here with numbers. Mallow will play it inside the 10. For Dykes to dummy inside. To stay outside. McKenna. Great ball up. And Dykes on a runaround. All the early play. All the early advantage. For the Warriors adds up to little. Just a good opportunity and cleverly kept alive by McKenna for the support player of Dykes. Yeah, off the back of a couple of penalties, just able to get the ball wide. McKenna getting his arm free, staying alive in the tackle. Dykes comes round and what was some, some good defence from the Warriors, just eventually too much ball. Yeah, that's right. I suppose the defence here just got a little bit lost in the middle with that little run around. But great stuff from Cronulla. They defended well on attack. They're looking pretty hot. But the Sharks, through Dykes, and a try, grab the lead. 4-2. Healy shows it one side. Set piece as Dykes was about to turn to look for support back on the inside on the other side of the rack. Tisa. A couple of points in it at 4-2 as Healy for the second time tonight puts down an easy one rare thing from a player like Healy well, they'll be disappointed with that they uh, all the attack going with the Sharks Healy second one he's put down cold turkey right in front of him and Dykes his partner Dykes has looked the player who's been most likely to cause some damage he's offered two or three dummies perhaps the next one you'll see him fire the ball out Warriors will have to be awake to him Deep. Test that shoulder out. Jones. Jones. Now Lewis. Played strongly in the second 40 for the Warriors against Brisbane last week. See you, see you. Real test of strength between see you, see you and Lang. Logan Swan. Last tackle to Simon to bomb away. Way off the side of the boot. Played back for Simon. Did well to pick it up. Then kick ahead for Ojel Manuel. Here's numbers inside. Oh, they have plenty. Surely on the end of this, out of nothing. Clever play, clever skills. The first kick mightn't have been a good one, but... Check out the vision. Just a little kick for Odell Manuel. Who laid it on? John Simon. Well, two things stick out. One is never give up. Once the kick's put up in the air, back yourself a second stab at the ball. Odell Manuel reads it superbly. He's on side. The pass intended for Jones. It goes behind. Simon picks it up. And this is just good supply, support play, which is the next thing you do any time a kick goes up. Yeah, support play is the name of the game, isn't it? Just look at the hands in these conditions. Fantastic hands by the Auckland Warriors. Beautiful little kick there from John Simon. Now, look at that pickup. Absolutely fantastic. The ball is so slippery, and they just went on with it. The backup was there. Twos and threes, and if you're going to get anyone with a bit of pace to finish it off, give it to that man there, Lee Odenrein. The Warriors threatened the defending champs last week, Brisbane. Now here at Ericsson, really putting it to one of the front runners of the season, the Sharks at 8-4. But I take your point about the, the Shark. He's not wanting to take on the Warrior forwards. But on a couple of occasions, it is notable that the Sharkies are looking to run at John Simon. Well, they are trying to run at John Simon. And in these conditions, you know, that little inside pass is always going to work for you because it's hard to cut back in defence and you lose your footing. So it's amazing that some of them aren't looking for a little moving out and just putting that little inside pass. And... Extra tackles surprisingly being made by the Warriors. So often on the wrong end of that count in the NRL. Midfield bomb. Everybody has a good long look at it. Odin Ryan puts it down. 
Well, they're going to pay a penalty here. Peachy always on the spot. But nobody was really positive about this ball from the start. Bit of a go slow here. And up comes the fumble. Remarkable try. Ball this time goes up nice and high from Healy. And there's plenty of time for Manuel or Odin Ryan to get there. Everyone leaves it alone. And you're right, they pay the price. Goes in unopposed. Yeah, just a little bit of lack of communication there. Sort of players in two minds. Someone had to really tip, call for the ball and take it. The Odin Ryan let it bounce. Bang, it comes out. And well, Peachy, he was there. And Cronulla, that's an easy try for them. Healy from right in front. Real slog here in Auckland tonight at Ericsson. But it is the Sharks who come back to grab the lead. Peachy try. And they sent it out to 10 8. Just wasn't quite sure whether, in fact, in making the tackle, this came off the Sharks or whether it was really. The full mistake from Odin Ryan. Tackles being made. Was there a hand that pushed that out? Well, the hand was definitely struck up around where the ball was. And in that case, well, you'd look at a knock on, but I guess the benefit of slow replay. Clever stuff from Simon to pick up the dregs out of all of that. Hermanson setting it up for them inside the 10. Last 30 seconds. To the in goal. Peachy again to kill it. And Hampstead. In fact, we're down to the last five seconds now. Kick in behind the line. Flicked out the back. Sharks to kick ahead. Hermanson to go over just to dive on the ball. He got up smartly for Simon. Bit of flair from him. Kicking wide. Nigel Buggener in behind Best. Tried something to spark it up. In real difficult conditions after a ton of rain in Auckland. Pretty solid performance from both sides and the Warriors and the Sharks in a real tight one at Ericsson. 10-8 to the Sharks at the break. Max Verstappen, champion of the world. Go ultra with Foxtel. Before making a trade, check out Plus Insights, the new trading tool on Plus 500. Um, I'll explain. It's like choosing a seat on a flight. Plus, having crucial information. Speak. I'm teaching on row four. Uh, can I get as far away from row four as possible? Exclusive on Plus 500, Plus Insights, turning data into trading insights. Plus 500. It's trading with a plus. Download the app. Want to get closer to the magic of the FIFA Women's World Cup? Grab your chance to win a seat at the final. Buy and scan specially marked Coca-Cola products to win match tickets or Coca-Cola merchandise instantly every day. Some may think I'm just their local real estate agent. I may have helped you take the leap into your first rental, helped you find your first family home, or even sponsored your local school footy team. But with offices all over the country, I'm part of an Australian real estate brand that feels like a family. And with over 1,500 real estate experts, we're in the business of making your dreams come true. So I'm much more than your local real estate agent. I'm your local professional. Home feels like professionals. When you're in a I deserve a little treat kind of mood, you need iced coffee and you need it deluxe. Hazelnut, vanilla or caramel. Make your day a cream on top kind of day with the McCafe Deluxe Iced Coffee. Ah, checkmate again. Are you up for the challenge? KFC Supercoach NRL is back. Movies are dreams. That you'll never forget. What kind of movie are we gonna make? Oh, you love those people, huh? Your sisters, your mama, your papa. Except this I think you love a little more. 
You dismiss what he does. It's playful or imaginative. You can't just love something. You also have to take care of it. It's more important than your hobby. Can you stop calling it a hobby? Family. Art. <laughs> It'll tear you in two. Everything happens for a reason. What was your favorite part? The Fablemans. Express release available now in Foxtel Store. Lang, wind him up, let him go. Well, they, they can't afford to drop one tonight, but, you know, the, the Warriors, they want to be a party pooper to most sides. Not a lot left to play for, except, you know, just, well, there, there is a lot to play for. Spots for next year, but if they can go around upsetting these top contenders, uh, you know, they'll take a lot of pride in that. Was it Stalin? Just lost his. The door opening up. Great chance for the Warriors right from the restart of this second 40. Looked up, pleading for a penalty. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Just stand there. Absolute lottery. Logan Swan breaking, looking for Jones. Surges into the 20. Joe Wagner. Good tackle, low. Trista was the man that went downstairs. Now Jones and Simon. Hermanson, who's been strong tonight. Jones again. On the inside this time for Logan Swan. Jones running with Joe Bogner. Jones! We said it tonight. We raised the question about this little man taking it to the line. Just carried the ball out in front. Everybody had a look at big Joe Bogner. And he just stepped his way through. Well, Jones, when he can carry the ball out in front with two hands, he's got supporting runners with him, takes the heat off him, and that's a good individual effort. Yes, when you've got big guys like Joe Bagger on the outside, you were right, Graham. They were all looking at him in the defence, but this little man saw a gap. He doesn't need a big one. He slipped straight through. So much talent. And now with Simon there to compliment him at 5'8", he can concentrate on a running game. 11 metres to the side of the post. Very valuable two points. Strikes it nicely right down the middle. Flying start to the second 40 from Jones and the Warriors. Has them on their feet at 14-10. A good tackle low from McKenna Hermanson. Well, Terry Hermanson, he's fair Deacon throwing himself everywhere around the paddock. He's been making tackles out wide. Simon right down the middle. He's got Deef inside. Deef. He could have gone to him, but he goes out wide to Manuel. Don't know why he didn't go to Deef. Deef cannot believe it. He was headed towards the post, and he was unmarked. Surely John Simon saw him. Deef stayed with him. Even Deef had further support, I think, from Jones under the post. Well, there were two on his left. It's almost as if he just weighed up his options. He, he had it premeditated. He was going to kick too early. Never, never looked out to his left. Well, he looked twice in that move. He did. He must surely have known he was there. Opportunity gone. I think he made it a little bit too complicated for himself. Should have been an easy four-pointer. Joe Wagner. Trister is there again, but gets steamrolled by Joe Wagner. There's two down as Stacey Jones picks up the pace back to Deeth. This time for Deeth. Heading towards those posts. Looking for a quick play of the ball. Mears. Mears. On the inside for Hermanson. This crowd screaming for another try. Backs to the wall for the Sharks. Simon. Cutting men out. Logan Swan taking a good tackle by Healy. Needed to be made. Nigel Bugginer changing direction. Simon for Hoppy. Nowhere for him to go five metres away. Last tackle. Simon, very wide. Manuel. Manuel. OJ Manuel can't get it back in. Well played. Well played by Howland. 
but they've got to be disappointed the Warriors after coming up empty. Well, it was an excellent work by Howland. He knew he had to take Odell Manuel ball and all. The kick going right across field. And the Sharks soaking up all the pressure. He climbs nice and high. Got to post points. The chances territorially, the possession, just got to post more points. Jones, this time he goes to Joe Bugginer, who took it extremely well under pressure. Mears, Mears! Put down by Nelson. Another opportunity goes. Just can't afford to let him keep on slipping. The enthusiasm is coming through from the Warriors, but you, you said about the Sharks. Well, their defence has just been outstanding. They're hanging in and hanging in, and that's a sign of a good side now. The only thing that worries me about this Corona side, when Pichu or someone like that, they've got players who can turn a game. That's a worry. Deeth, one of many who can do it for the Warriors when they need it. Likewise, from this man, Simon. This is up there for a long, long time. Who wants it? They put it down right in front of the post. The Warriors will have the scrum through. They've got it already. The Sharks trying to rush back. Not many of them there. They slow it right down. Surely in numbers. Logan Swan. They had plenty of men out to the left. Mears tries to steal it. They just need to shift to that corner. The Sharks were still in trouble there. Now they go there, but a little bit late from Lauer. Tini picked up by Nigel Wagner. To the other sideline, maybe. Quick hands to the far corner. Hermanson caught wide. Throws it away to Howland against the run. What a turnaround. Absolutely unbelievable. Howland will go all the way to lock it up. You talk about this side hanging in. Their champions are doing that. The Warriors should have had it in the far left-hand corner any number of times. Third opportunity missed, and what about paying this price? Well, yeah, a cruel blow for Hermanson. Has had a great game. Serves it up in the laps of one of the Sharkies, but you go back to the other side, Colin Best knocking the ball on. Could have easily gone the other way to the Warriors. Two or three try scoring opportunities now. Dead set gone against them. Yeah, that's twice now that the Sharkies really have scored quite easy tries, isn't it? A great kick there from John Simon. And they lost the ball, which they could have gone left. We spoke about it two or three times, but there was just nobody in there sort of having a look. And that's where the Warriors could have scored. Big Terry Hermes has had a whale of a game. He's just looked out the, the winger, Howland, sweated on his pass. And really, with someone with this pace, is always going to be hard to get. But... Four marks to Lee Odenrein, who kept the chase up because he could have gone around under the post, but he kept him out wide. 11 tries this season, Howland. Real flyer for the Sharks, and now Healy with the kick, which will tell another unbelievable story of the Sharks getting into the lead after being threatened on so many occasions in this second half. Healy. Solid pressure goal. 30 out, the Warriors. Can they finish one of these ones? Up the middle for Nelson. Kicking metres. Huge turnaround for the Sharks. Joe Wagner. Jones for Simon. And Logan Swan. And Nigel Wagner as they string it together. Still... Endicott, Jones, Stacey Jones shut down right in front of the post just as he put the foot down. Mark Graham, Mears will get it, Mears! You were just about reading this man's thoughts. He was saying to himself, are we going to get one finally? <laughs> yeah, little beauty, Robert Mears. Warriors go out, 18-16. Have a look at the markers from the Sharks. They just step out far too early. And when you've got a clever player out of acting half, 
Look at the hole that opens up right around the ruck. Peachy too slow to come across. Yeah, nice quick play the balls from the Warriors. And what about the hands just stringing those passes together in driving rain conditions? This guy's been in one of the fines of the century, and he? Look at him. I bet you love that one, Dwayne. The hooker's going over like that. Oh, absolutely, Perla, mate. And, uh, you know, you just got to hand it to the Warriors. They've been able to stay in this game. Simon. Terrific match here in Auckland. Consider all of these conditions. Outstanding game because of that. 2016. And they get him inside the 20. Mella talking to John Lang last night. He knew what a tough side they were going to be to take on tonight after their recent form. And I don't know that he really wanted these conditions and this error right from his own side in their own half. Yeah, it is evident now. You can just tell that the players, great hands. Howland kicking ahead. Here's Peachy. What a great play in these conditions. Look at the skill from Peachy. Just loses it. It would have been an absolute stunner. Now they give it away to the far corner. What a mistake. What a mistake. There has been two of the simplest mistakes at their own end tonight, and they've led so far to 10 points for the Sharks. Well, they found success on the left-hand side. Able to put a two-on-one situation and get around Odell Manuel. The kick goes through by Howland. Have a look at Peachy. You've got to question whether he was onside. Cleverly puts the, the ball to the toe. Odin Ryan does well to stay with him. And you've got to feel for Sean Hobby just looking to pick the ball up. Cost back into the arms of Sean Ryan. And then it's just out. You find your wingman there. And over she goes. I think Peachy might have cleverly played at that and punched the ball out as well. Yeah, you just have a check. You've got to feel sorry for those Warriors too. I mean, it's three easy tries they've given up to Cronulla. Cronulla haven't really had to work too much for these ones. Great stuff from Peachy to set it up, but they are still easy tries. I don't think the Warriors can come back though. They're on fire. Driving rain for Healy, two from three. Way out near the chalk. Strikes it magnificently. Healy! What a sensational goal. Out of nothing for Eddinghausen and Eddie Sharks. What a thriller at Ericsson, 22-20. Inside the last 30 for Ryan. An intercept against the Warriors. Two balls lost in front of their own line that led immediately to tries. Healy ducks one. Stands in a second. Last tackle. And last throw of the dice. All they need to do is put it out over the sideline. And Dykes will go into the end goal. Howland, magnificent try. Not, not happy with it. Or... Just have a check, Doug. I'll fill They're just going to check the grounding of this, but the Warriors caught in behind their own line. This is going to be a scoreline that tells you no story of this terrific match tonight. Yeah, a deserving effort for Dykes and Howland. The ball just travelling, just having a look if he grounds it cleanly. Well, that's touch and go, but... And Dykes has been a real star tonight for the Sharks as well. The downward pressure, was he in control of it? I'm not so sure. Well, this I is think an interesting think call upstairs. Interesting call, real interesting call. Okay, yep. Yeah. Well, time's gone. Time is gone. I don't know that John Lane's going to be too happy with this call. Now they chip back the other side for Hoppy. He plays it back to Nigel Wagner. I've got no idea why we've still got all this action. Siren goes a second time, now it's over. Eddinghausen and the troops get home with a valuable two points.